Welcome back, dear viewers, to Olive Whispercast, a game. Welcome to today's epic match between Totes Olive and Forgotten Bones. Olive's initial hand only has one power. That is pretty much going to be an auto mulligan, and sure enough, she decides to mulligan. Draws the next hand. She is missing shadow, but otherwise the hand is playable, so I think that's going to be a keep, ladies and gentlemen. Forgotten Bones also has kept their hand, so this is going to be an interesting match. Forgotten Bones starts with the Fire Sigil, and the Oni Ronin as the first play. Olive luckily does have the Seat of Fury and Drew the Seat of Chaos. That's going to be great for her. She decides to lead off with the Seat of Chaos and a Torch for the Oni Ronin. Passes the turn back to Forgotten Bones. Forgotten Bones draws a card. Plays out a Fire Sigil, and then a Pyro Knight. Olive, looking over the hand, sees that she will be able to use the Tripwire Grenadine. Drops the Seed of Fury, the Tripwire Grenadine to take out the Pyro Knight, and passes the turn back. Forgotten Bones draws a card, plays a Fire Sigil. This looks like a Mono Fire deck, ladies and gentlemen. Swings in with a freshly cast Cinder Sprite. Olive will take that damage, which will kill the Cinder Sprite. Then there's no follow-up from Forgotten Bones. Olive looks over the hand and is going to go for the Seat of Fury into the Strategize, which will allow two bites at the apple for good cards. Finds a Crest of Cunning and a Shadow Sigil and sends a Primal Sigil back to the bottom. Then swings in with the Tripwire Grenadin and passes the turn back to Forgotten Bones. Forgotten Bones draws a card, plays another Fire Sigil, and plays a Sensari Brigand. Oh, that is going to charge in for four damage with that pseudo double damage ability. Olive, not having much to do here, goes ahead and plays the Shadow Sigil, turning on all of her colors, plays out the Kyrex Coach Driver, and decides to leave the Tripwire Grenadine back on blocking duty and passes the turn back. Forgotten Bones draws two cards due to the Nightfall Trigger and takes one damage. Goes into the tank, plays out a Fire Sigil, Plays out a Plunder, exhausting the Sensari Brig in order to draw two treasure troves. This is an interesting play, ladies and gentlemen. Plunder is not a card we see very often. The follow-up being to use one of the treasure troves, draw a card, then play out a Grenadine Drone. Olive draws the Devour and a Fire Sigil. Not the best in the world. Goes ahead and starts with the... Nope. Initially thinks of the Quarry, but then goes with the Strategize. Strategize pulls a Tripwire Grenadin that will be deadly as well as a Dark Return. That was a great decision on her part. She will put back the Fire Sigil, followed up by playing the Tripwire Grenadin, killing the Sensari Brigand with the deadly effect, and then going ahead and using the Crest of Cunning to scout the top. Sees a Combust, keeps a Combust, and swings in with a Tripwire Grenadin. If Forgotten Bones decides to double block, they will lose both their Grenadine. They decide not to, and Olive passes the turn back. Forgotten Bones draws a card. Plays out another fresh Cinder Sprite, swings it in. Olive decides to go ahead and block with the Tripwire Grenadine so that she can make use of that Dark Return, most likely. This will save two damage. She takes two. The Tripwire Grenadine dies, allowing it to kill off one of the Grenadine, reducing Forgotten Bones' board. Forgotten Bones plays out the Impatient Pyromage to draw a card off the top of the library, finds a Granite Coin, luckily does not have very good targets for that, follows up with a Pyro Knight, and passes the turn back. Olive is in her element, ladies and gentlemen. She plays the Dark Return, pulls back the Tripwire Grenadine. This is going to allow the Pyro Knight to be killed by the Tripwire Grenadine before it can be pumped. And that is enough to get the concession from Forgotten Bones. And ladies and gentlemen, Olive wins the game. 